Okay. Let's take a look at this question. I actually want to um, construct uh, the, the PMF, a probability mass function. Uh, this is my setup. And um, they, we're looking at, in particular, the number of voting accidents by a policyholder. I just abbreviated PH because I want to write policyholder. It's annoying, right? Um, we're told that the, this N, that random variable N, is distributed Poisson. I think they tell me the variance is 0.1. But as you know, with Poisson, um, variance is equal to the mean. So they tell me the mean, basically, which is lambda. So this is my PMF. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, y represents the number of un unreimbursed accidents. Unreimbursed accidents. So you need to be a little bit careful. What what is actually reimbursed? Um, we're told actually the insurance only kicks in for the very first accident. So nothing else is compensated. Okay. You better not crash more than once or she. Right. All right. So here's the situation uh, we have, and I'm looking for actually. I want to know the probability mass function for y. So they just write p of y. I'm going to write py of y. I want to know what is this. When you have a question like this, don't jump right into just trying to write it down. You need to take it step by step. You need to look at cases. Uh, what I mean here is start, what could y possibly be? I mean, could you have negative <laughs> unreimbursed accidents? No. Could you have zero unreimbursed accidents? Yes, you could. Think about it for a second. So I'm just going to go through this uh, by cases. Okay, so when would um, the number of unreimbursed accidents be zero? So think about this for a second. When is y equal to zero? The number of unreimbursed accidents is zero if, well, let's see, the insurance kicks in for only the first accident, okay? But if there are zero accidents, then, of course, you're not going to have an... Uh, you're not going to have any unreimbursed accidents either, right? So think about this for a second. Y is zero, I claim if n is zero, if the number of accidents is zero, uh, or the number of accidents is one. Think about it for a second. Insurance kicks in for n equals one, and if n is zero, well, we don't care. Insurance doesn't kick in, but we didn't have a loss or any accidents or anything, so we're fine. All right, so then this tells me, uh, maybe, um, yeah, let's just write it right here. So this tells me, that the probability that y is 0 uh, is equal to either n is 0 or n is 1. The probability that n is 0 or plus probability that n is 1. But we have the, the probability mass function um, for n. So this is equal to, what's the probability n is 0? This is e to the negative 0 0.1. What's the probability n is 1? This is e to the negative 0 0.1 uh, times 0 0.1. If I do some algebra, this is, I mean, just factor this out if you like. I mean, this is easy, right? E to the negative 0 0.1 times 1.1. So there is the probability that y is 0. All right, that takes care of that. And now let's look at, um, so just again, just go through cases. Okay, now I'm going to look at when y is 1. So how could y be equal to 1? All right, so y is equal to 1. Okay, so my random variable y equals 1 if, if what happens here? Okay, in other words, we're, we have one unreimbursed accident. Insurance pays for the first one, okay? Uh, we pay for the second one, right? So this is if n is 2. If n is 2. That's not too bad. So in other words, this tells me that the probability uh, that y equals 1 equals the probability that n equals 2. That n equals 2. What's the probability n is 2? Well, there's my mass function up here. So this is e to the negative 0 0.1, 0 0.1 squared over 2. Factorial, actually, right? All right, no big deal. Um, go ahead and try when y is equal to 2. If y is equal to 2, if there are two unreimbursed accidents, convince yourself this means that n is 3. Insurance pays for the first one, you pay for the other two. So, hopefully you're seeing a pattern. What is the problem? Well, what if, uh, what if y just equals some generic value, like little y? Uh, this is equal to, uh, this is, I'm uh, sorry, if n is equal to what? Well, hopefully you're seeing the pattern. This is always going to go up by 1. So this is y plus 1. 
So this implies that the probability uh, of y equaling y, and again, this is actually only true for y greater than or equal to 1, because we dealt with y equals 0 separately. Uh, this is equal to, um, equal to e to the negative 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, to the y plus 1 divided by y plus 1 factorial. We have everything. If you look at your options, though, we absolutely need to write it as a piecewise defined probability mass function. But we have it. We definitely have it. So let me write that down, and we'll be done with it. Okay, so what's our conclusion? Our conclusion is the following. Um, this is what we have. We have that the probability mass function, PY of Y, representing the number of unreimbursed accidents, this is equal to the following. It's equal to e to the negative 0 0.1. Uh, well, just aesthetically, let's write the 1.1 first. Right? Remember, 1.1 e to the negative 0 0.1. This is if uh, y is 0. Okay, remember how we computed that? Okay. Because uh, remember, the insurance company pays for the first, uh, the first accident, right? Okay, and next, we have um, if y is greater than uh, 0. So after that, it's going to be basically the Poisson uh, PMF, e to the negative 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1 to the y plus 1, uh, divided by y plus 1 factorial. And this is if y is greater than or equal to 1. So that takes care of it. And um, yeah, that's it, All right? Let me know what you think. Um, like the video and subscribe, please. Thank you.